All right, Ron Goodall, fighthype.com. I'm here with the man himself, world champion, Rolly Romero. How's it going? Uh, I'm great, I'm great. So, 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 you know, what just brings you into the Mayweather gym today, man? Uh, I, I was getting wrapped up and then uh, so I tried uh, to do my hands. Yeah? Yeah. So, you know, how's, how's the injuries? How's, how's everything going, man? Are no you... injuries, no nothing. Uh, I feel a lot better. I feel a lot healthier than, than what I was in the last six years. So, you know, I, I just I happen to have to ask, you know, when it comes to big time boxing, when it comes to debuting on new networks, you know, Amazon Prime, Roy Romero. I, I just, I got an email today about a press conference, fights being made against Pitbull Cruz. Is, is this... I'm going to tell you like this, I'm just happy to be the one to kick off Amazon Prime. Um, I think this is, this is probably the biggest and best move for boxing. It's going to bring a lot of viewers to boxing. Amazon's a massive, no, not even massive, the biggest company in the world. And I'm blessed just to even be uh, having them back me. You know, in, in this case, it's definitely Rolly Romero versus Pitbull Cruz, Esau Cruz, Rolly the A-side in this situation. Is, is that ultimately what determined the fact that you wanted Pitbull or if you wanted Ryan and how this fight was made on, on who you chose? I mean, let's be honest with you. It was always going to be me, the A-side. I'm champion. I don't know any time in the damn world that champion is A-side. Champion A-side. So, we could all go fuck off. Um, everyone disappointed that I decided to fight Pipple Cruz, but isn't Pipple Cruz a more difficult fighter, a stronger fighter, a more durable fighter, a more exciting fighter? So, did, did I, uh, like I said, it just shows that I have balls for going after Pipple Cruz. You know, with this all being materialized, are you pretty excited just to be back in boxing, man? Because I know it's boxing been, misses been, you, man. It's been too long. It's been too long. But, you know, I'm excited to, I'm excited to be back here in boxing, you know. I, I know boxing needs me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I say two words, and I'm the most viral person on the Internet. So yeah. I, I, I know the boxing world just misses anything I, I say or do or any, just anything. You know when it was the week of um, O'Hara, uh, Barroso and O'Hara Davis, after that fight, I couldn't happen and to say to you all the time, Rolly never lies, Rolly never lies, Rolly never lies. And sure enough, you went on social media, you made certain things, you said certain things, and it's Rolly versus Pitbull Cruz. And do you feel in Ryan's case, I'm not saying that he's lying, but do you think like he's been fed a lot of misinformation because a day before the fight with you and Pitbull got announced, Ryan's like, I, I thought I was fighting Rowley. Like, I thought, I thought, so is it just he's Look, misinformed or? I'm like this. Ryan Garcia has too many people in his ear. He doesn't know who to trust and not to trust. He has just too many people around him. And in reality, the person he should have just sat down and called was me. He has my number. He should have sat down and called me. That's that, you know, he's over here all over the place being fed, fed all sorts of misinformation. So, so is it just best to kind of just talk with you, not De La Hoya? Is De La Hoya kind of probably complicated I, this? I don't think De La Hoya wanted the fight to be made to begin with. Really? Yeah. I have a really good feeling De La Hoya didn't want the fight to be made. But regardless of everything... He, he should have just. He, Ryan knows me. He knows I'm straight up no matter what. He should have just called me to begin with. You know, going to your fight with Pitbull, I mean, if I remember during the Tank press conference, stuff like Tank's small, like a midget. And in this case, Pitbull is a little bit smaller. So is Pitbull like a super midget in this case when it comes to fighting you? Or. Because you, you always have great names, so what, what, what are we going to call Pitbull? A poodle. A poodle? <laughs> what do you think about his last performance uh, that he had on, on, the, on the Crawford Spence card? Uh, if Cabrera had any bit of power, it might have been really bad for, for Pitbull. I mean, 
Cabrera did knock him down, so... Hey, you know, they didn't count on it, but, I mean, it was a clean punch. Mm -hmm. People did react a little weird when he got up, so... I mean, there's that. So what happens when he gets hit by a Rolly Romero punch? I mean, Rolly Romero is the hardest hitter in the damn world <laughs> at that way. You know, I've interviewed everyone around here, and everyone's picking you to win. And it's not just because they have a relationship or they see you. I mean, do you feel like the betting odds when this fight comes out, I don't know if you looked at it, like, Rolly Romero's the favorite, rightfully so, going to this? Um, how odds work their statistics. They, they do a lot of the odds on statistics and stuff, so who knows? I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be the favorite, but I don't give a fuck about any of that. Huh? I really don't give a fuck about any of that. I hope I'm under. Shit, bet, bet everything on Roly. Roly bet on himself, so I don't know. Roly always <laughs> bet on himself. You know, you, you have such a such a great come up story. You have been a guy who bet on himself. Now on non Amazon Prime. Non stop bet myself. I turned down a lot of offers, uh, I, I, and I, I knew that betting on myself would be. I, I did continuously better myself. I take less money. I don't give a fuck. I better myself. I, I take less money. I go for the opportunity. Fuck that shit. Because I know, I know, I know, I know what it really was. So there's that.